So one example that's modern day uh, inspiring figure on the on the latter part, and the engineering part mm -hmm. on the sustenance is uh, Elon Musk. Does that somebody you draw inspiration from? Or what are your thoughts in general about the kind of unique speck of human that's creating so much uh, inspiring innovation in this world so boldly? I know that we will not survive without people like that. Um, Elon is a ridiculous and sensational example of one of these figures. Um, I don't know if he's the best example or the worst example, but he is he is of his own kind. He is radically individualistic, and those are the people who will allow us to continue uh, as as humans. I'm I'm very happy that that we have people like that in this world. You, you said this thing about if we are to say that life has meaning. Mm -hmm or life is meaningful, then you could argue that it is a worthy pursuit to transcend life. Do you see that, <laughs> another just, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to go back uh, and sleep on that one. <laughs> uh, do, you, do you draw some, speaking of Elon, some inspiration of us, uh, transcending Earth, of us moving outside of uh, this particular planet that we've called home for a long time and colonizing other planets, and perhaps one day expanding outside the solar system and uh, expanding, colonizing our galaxy and beyond. Honestly, I know very little about space exploration. I think it makes complete sense to me why we are starting to think very seriously about it. It's an amazing and baffling and innovative solution to a lot of problems we see as a world population. I can't really offer very much uh, of interest on the topic. I think when I, I'm talking about like transcending humanity and transcending Earth, um, I'm talking usually about deriving truth. And that's one of the things that makes like theoretical math and physics um, so interesting. It's like, I, I really, really love biology, for example, but uh, biology is a combination of whatever principles ensure evolution and whatever weird coincidences happened billions of years ago. Um, so to you, it's more interesting to understand the fundamental mechanisms of evolution, for example, than it is the results, the messy results of its processes. I can't say which is more interesting. I can say which I think is more is more deep. I think theory and abstraction, which can be achieved completely deductively, uh, is deeper because it has nothing to do with circumstance and everything to do with uh, logic and thought. Uh, so like if we were ever to, to interact with aliens, for example, uh, we would not have our biology in common if, if these were, were some sort of really intelligent life form, uh, we would have math and physics in common because, uh, the laws of physics will be the same every everywhere in the universe. They, the, our particular anatomy and biology pertains uh, only to life on this on this planet, and the principles may apply more ubiquitously.